Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to achieve excellent photorealism. Some people call it hyperrealism, some people call it ultra-realism, photorealistic. I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's really just one prompt with a few things that you need to maybe mess around with. And to show you that I can cook and do what I say I can do, here's an example of a shot I just did up here of this Viking-looking lady. And I've got a whole bunch of other ones here. We've got some redos up here. Like here's a little girl here, a little Viking girl. Pretty realistic if you ask me. And then not only that, now let's see another one here. This one's pretty good. Um, I'm going to even show you how to make it even more realistic inside Photoshop. It takes about 30 seconds once you're done. So the trick to the prompt is really just this. Forward slash imagine. And then you type in the subject. So in this case, portrait of a Viking man. In this case, we're going to do a Viking man. Then it's colon, colon, one. That means prompt weight or text weight of one. We're assigning it a, a one. This isn't quite necessary, but once you start playing and tooling around with it, you'll want to have these weights in here. Hit spacebar, natural lighting. Oops, if I could just spell lighting, colon, colon, one. Okay, good. Hopefully you're following along with me. Now we want to do a descriptor. Are they smiling? Are they angry? Are they frowning? In this case, we're going to go smiling, colon, colon, one. These are all weighted at one, of course. And then I'm just going to keep going natural features, colon, colon, one. We just want them to look natural. We don't want anything, you know, fancy going on uh, with their face. Now we're going to determine the lens. In most cases, I like to use a 35 millimeter lens, so it's space. 35 mm lens, space lens, colon, colon, one. And then we're going to go global illumination, colon, colon, one. So we want the light to be sort of applied all over the shot, not just on any particular area of the shot. We're going to do an up light for those of you that are photographers. You'll understand this one. We want up light, colon, colon, one. And then we're going to go space DOF. That means depth of field, so we want some blur in there in the background. So we want the the the, the foreground and the background to have a little bit of a, a definition and a little bit of blur in the background. And then I'm going to go DOF, and then I'm going to go space, space, AR, space, 16, colon, 9. So we're doing a 16, 9 aspect ratio. That's what AR stands for. And then I'm going to go dash, dash, Q space, 2. For We're going to do the highest quality we can. And then you just hit enter. And we're going to have our little uh, thing go on here. Now, this is going to come out quite nice, but keep in mind that it doesn't always get it right the first time. So you do have these options where you can make variations. You can upscale it. You can beta upscale it. This one here is pretty close to perfect. But you know what? So be it. Let's see here. What are we getting? Where are we? 0%. Okay, so while that just cooks that one up, I'm going to right click on this one and I'm going to save the image. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to not change the name. And while it cooks up, whoa, it missed the whole portrait of a Viking man part there on one or two of these here. But whatever, uh, it ain't perfect. Like I said, I'm going to go to my finder. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to grab that image and I'm going to put it into Photoshop. And what I'm doing, the reason why I'm doing this is because sometimes Midjourney has one real issue. And the issue is for, for the photography, it comes out really, really sharp. And what I mean by that, if you look at these eyes, in this case, it's quite good. But in a lot of cases, it almost looks like it's too, like, I don't know, it's almost like it's cartoony because the colors are so saturated and they're so kind of shiny. So what you can do, and this is purely optional if you have Photoshop, you just go up to, you just drop it into Photoshop and then you go to filter and then we're going to go down here to, where is it? It is under blur and then we're going to go to lens blur. So we're just going to add a very small lens blur on this. So watch this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the radius to about six. Well, actually, we're going to go to about five or six on this one. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and just change. That's it. I'm going to go ahead and just change this to one. And watch this. I'm just, it's very subtle, but we've just gone ahead and added in a slight blur on it. So if I hit Command Z, you'll see the slight difference. Command Shift Z. Very subtle, but it's there. So that is purely optional, but that does get rid of some of the uh, synthetic look that some images get. Anyways, let's go back to, um, we're going back here into Mid Journey, and here's what we got. So we got some really, really good shots here. Holy smokes. Okay, so this bottom right one is pretty good. I mean, actually, they're all quite good, if I'm being honest. So I would just go on U1, U2. 
I would create NU4. I don't think the third one is very good. And basically, we're just upscaling or upsampling the first, second, and fourth one. And that's it. If you need to make changes, you'll notice here that we put prompt weights in or text weights in on all of them. So if you want to change the natural lighting and you wanted it to be, you know, instead of uh, a, a value of 1, maybe you want it to be of 1.2 because you want some more lighting or you think there should be more illumination or you think there should be less. But really, that's it. I'm going to put the whole thing in the description below. Uh, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.